Hello my friends, this is Pedro Miguel Costa, I'm at the Cine Canta Studios, I'm with the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and I will explain how do I shoot anamorphic mode with this camera. What is the anamorphic mode, what is the taking lens, in this case I have the Speed Booster Metabones XL.64, I have the Samsung 250GB USB-C drive that I connect directly to the camera to record directly into the drive. I use this small rig cage to put all together. I use this mounting plate with these rods. All this kit was uh, designed by myself. And I use, in this case, I use uh, a cable to from the tap to the plug that goes power into the camera. So I use this V-mount battery that I can shoot all day just with just one battery. You will need one of these monitors. Is the best that I that I found on the market is a Fotka, the A50 TLS. So it has touchscreen T. It has LUTs. You can load LUTs and apply LUTs to the monitor L, and the S is for the SDI in and out. In this monitor, you have HDMI in out USB port to load LUTs inside. Uh, you have SDI in and out, you have power in and out. So imagine you can power the camera through the battery that goes inside the, the monitor. You have two slots of batteries, so you never run out of battery. But you can, with these batteries, you can connect a cable and have the battery outside of the monitor because this monitor, it's so lightweight. Uh, you have picking, you have false color, you have touch screen, but why, why did I choose this monitor? Because there's nothing doing this in this price range. It cost me $200 plus taxes, blah, blah, blah. It's amazing monitor. And it has anamorphic disc quiz. That's the function you will need to be able to shoot anamorphic mode on the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. I hope the 6K as the in camera the anamorphic disc quiz i don't know i haven't seen it yet but this camera doesn't have anamorphic disc quiz saying that you need the monitor that do the anamorphic disc quiz so you be able to see what the anamorphic look like at the end or else you will not be able to focus the image correctly with this cage you can mount easily the monitor in here and we can put the battery and plugging in the power cable the HDMI cable so we have the camera we have the monitor let's turn on the camera let's turn on the monitor we need to go to the monitor we tap two times, the, the menu pop up, pops up, you go to display and you go to anamorphic mode, two times magnification. Because if you don't do that, you will have anamorphic mode, but you will have a very narrow image. But at the end, you will crop the, the left and the, and the right side of the image and you end up with, in this case, two times magnification, the anamorphic lens. But we are having a hard time to get the image uh, in focus, you know, near images in focus. Like imagine when I want to have this mouse here and the keyboard in focus and I'm at the closest range and I can put it focused. So what I did, I I sand, I, I remove a little bit of material on the front to be able to put this thread adapter from 72 to 75. So this is a, a thread filter adapter from 72 millimeters to 77. Now I can fit the thing that you will need to do the close range focus. Of course, 
This is a 77 millimeters Oya plus one diopter. So in this case, I'll fit in the diopter, one diopter. And now I can have focus on a close range. See, I'm at 50, 60 centimeters away from the target point and I'm in, in focus. I will show you some uh, footage that I made in, in the studio. So what you will need to do anamorphic, you will need an anamorphic lens, you will need a taking lens. In this case, for the pocket, you will need uh, the speed booster. You will need a drive to record the media. You will need a monitor that do anamorphic squeeze. And of course, you will need diopters. Now let's start by disassembling all of this so I can show you what is my kit. Let's start by removing the monitor. Turning off the monitor. So you'll have the battery, the Fotke monitor, the A50 TLS. We have the hard drive, the Samsung T5, 250 gigabytes USB-C, the cable. We have the plus one diopter and we have here the plus four and also the plus two diopter. They are 77 millimeters thread. Well, let's put this back in. Now there's come a, a special special thanks for the Shine gear. Uh, it's not Cine gear, it's Shine gear with uh, an X. Shine gear. It's um, a company in Berlin, uh, Germany. They were very helpful for me and um, I want to thank them for this. This helps me a lot. So let's start by disassembling the anamorphic model. Now I remove the anamorphic model and I will disassemble. This is parts that I designed uh, on AutoCAD and printed on my 3D printer. And we have here the other part that holds up the lens and we have that thing, strange thing that I invent is that this is the anamorphic lenses with, um, with a thread adapter. So in this case, what I did, I cut a little bit of material on the front so I can stick up this. So I have to cut a little bit on the lens and a little bit of on the inside of the um, thread filter adapter. So in this case, we have the Super Cine Lux Anamorphic 2 times MC. And this, is, this was the lens that comes. So this was a projection lens. The, f the, um, the light would come from here. The film would pass in front of the light and the light were, were being there. Um, putting in this taking lens and then it would appear the, the squeeze anamorphic so they could do the projection on the cine theaters. So this is a Super Cinelux anamorphic two times MC and the taking lens is an 85. But you don't need a 85 millimeters, you can put a 50 millimeters. So you can handle a taking lens of 50 millimeters and here I have a small screw that I can tune the close range focus normally I am at 
around around seven meters of focus when I want to focus really really very close things I go to the minimum three meters and then when I want to to do a focus at uh, 60 centimeters one meter I put one diopter in front of the anamorphic and I will achieve very close focus with a very sharp image as I will show you and now the the thing that work very well on this system is this lens so I will share with you my secret the best lens taking lens for the anamorphic system is this Canon 50 millimeters STM so this STM has no mechanical focus only electronic the good thing is the front element goes um, I will show you I will show you what is so special about this lens is the fact that when I do focus the front element moves away from the lens and why is this important because you can have see this part of the lens you can have a perfect fit between the taking lens and the anamorphic mode uh, module and in this case uh, I tried other lenses they they tend to vignette a, uh, a lot in this case in this in case this lens doesn't vignette at all when you do the, the right proportion of uh, 235 aspect ratio of the anamorphic mode so in this case the 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 game changer in the anamorphic world is this lens because you can get this for 300 bucks and this lens you can get it for 100 bucks so we have a fourteen hundred dollars uh, anamorphic system that produce amazing images, very sharp quality. And if you want very close range focus, you do add a diopter. And you can even on the top of the diopter, you can put your variable ND filters or a, a filter ND filter uh, threading, and you can um, achieve your right exposure. Another trick. So, best lens for anamorphic is this Canon 50 STM. You do manual focus, it's very easy to focus because you put one finger and you do this and this reacts like a, a follow focus. It's like a, a joystick that controls the internal focus. There's no mechanical focus, it's only electronic. It's like a, a switch that you put the lens to the front, to the back to do the focus. Um, saying that the in order to have sharp images you must use it around this is a, i forgot to say this is a 50 millimeters 1.8 stm for full frame you have a 40 millimeters and you have a 24 but remember that 24 is not for full frame only the the 50 and the 40. and the other thing that i wanted to talk about is the um, I forgot the other thing I was talking about is the aperture you need to use the lens between 2.8 and 3 the minimum the rest you can do if you want even sharper image you can raise it to f 5.6 but normally I use 2.8 3 in some cases f 5.6 so this is my contribution for you all anamorphic lovers is this is the lens for anamorphic mode the rest I don't even bother looking for saying that um, now that I have show you my pocket with my metal bones I've shared my secret of the taking lens of the really good anamorphic um, I have uh, 
I have other anamorphic, but this really why why I choose this anamorphic because remember back in days when when the, the theaters had film project in a, in a screen these lenses this Schneider Kreuznach they have to be as good as a, a Zeiss lens a Panavision lenses so the the coatings the glass of these lenses has to be as good as the best cinema camera cinema lenses at a time because you couldn't have a huge uh, cook lens a huge panavision lens and at the projection you need to do the anamorphic squeeze and you had to add optics with a level of the best cinema lenses best cook as the best panavision lenses at a time so yeah it's a kind of shocking that uh, these 300 lenses now has the same quality as this that uh, very expensive lenses uh, said that I, th I i see that a lot of people don't understand really well how the anamorphic mode works how you can achieve anamorphic shooting remember all that i explained works for the pocket works for any other camera that doesn't have anamorphic mode remember the gh5 has anamorphic mode you can do the anamorphic squeeze but remember the the sony 7r doesn't have so you can use the same workflow as i use in the pocket to achieve very good quality anamorphic mode without spending thousands of dollars so in this case this makes the difference the monitor will help you to get the image in focus so we reach at the end uh, of this uh, explanation and i share with you all my anamorphic study for the last um, two years that i tried to build up a system that i could use on a film i i, I recently did a short movie that i will bring to the um, uh, cinema festivals that um, this is the system that I use on my Red Dragon to shoot a uh, short film and this is all my prototypes that I design I, I have even this adjustment uh, screw so I can put the lens in perfect alignment with the taking lenses um, and when I explain to you here in 20 minutes, it take me two years to really study what was the, the best anamorphic lenses, what was the best uh, taking lens, what was the best system. And of course the design, the prototype that I built, in this case to put this plate with the, the rods, with the, the system that holds the anamorphic perfectly aligned with uh, the taking lenses um, I will say everything that I show you is very important because with all of this without some parts of this of course you don't need this taking lens that come with the anamorphic mode you can take it away you will need the anamorphic the taking lens the diopters the monitor that do anamorphic squeeze in the case of your camera doesn't have the, um, the anamorphic squeeze so if you enjoy this video please subscribe give it a like help me to build my channel so I keep I can keep coming with these uh, very technical videos and explanations and um, see you soon bye bye thank you very much please subscribe thank you Thank you. Shinigiro.